Well, it began as a last-ditch attempt to keep Donald Trump out of the White House, and here we are. The case is being heard before the highest court in the land. The Supreme Court says tonight it will weigh Colorado's faithless electors issue, and what the justices decide could change the course of how our country selects its leaders. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has a story. Colorado law says if you pledge to a candidate, that's who you have to vote for in Electoral College. In 2016, one of the electors who had pledged to vote for Hillary Clinton instead said he wanted to vote for John Kasich. Then Secretary of State Wayne Williams removed him. He sued. The case went to the 10th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which ruled in elector Michael Baca's favor. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser and Secretary of State Jenna Griswold appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, which has now agreed to hear arguments. They need to decide this case now outside the context of a contested presidential election. It would be a circus, to say the least, if the Supreme Court took a case that would make or break who was president. Griswold says this is not a partisan issue and that 22 other states have signed on in support of Colorado's efforts. There's basic agreement that unelected, unaccountable electors, presidential electors, should not be able to disenfranchise every Coloradan. Weiser, who will be defending Colorado's law, calls it an important constitutional question. If this law is upended and electors are then acting as free agents, then people lose the will of voting for who they want. The high court will hear the case in April, along with a similar one from Washington, which ended with a different outcome, a decision expected in late June. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.